Good morning. Must be day eight of walking. Day longer than I anticipated. 12 miles to Firely today. Sun is shining. And last night I stayed at the Greyhound Inn. You know, B&B, &B, 50 quid. Nice place. Have a look at this one, the old post office. And in a town called uh, Gayton. Um, I've spoken to the owner or manager this morning and I just said, oh, well, I was on my way down the camping store and I passed the camping site and I passed this place. So I thought, oh, I'll pop in. And he's in, he's telling me what's well, it's only a, a, a place with a sink and a toilet, so to speak. So I'm certain it apparently it rained really heavy last night, which I slept completely through. So I am so pleased that I went to the B&B last night. So I've got 12 miles, which is going to be a lot for me today, carrying the backpack. I've, uh, this is an experimental walk. I've uh, managed to sort out sort of a few things that, uh, you know, for future walks. Don't think I could have taken uh, much less than I actually have, which is the issue when I think about camping on long distance walks, because I don't think I could reduce the weight very much. So I probably wouldn't camp for long distance walks again. I will probably do weekend camps. So like if you're just carrying a heavy backpack for two days, you know, walk there, camp, walk back, it's not so bad. I could do that, but you know, uh, all this cold at night and rain and uh, comfort. Now I'm going to swing you around because this is a rather spectacular looking church. St. Nicholas, the Garden of Reflections. Oh, how wonderful. Pity that was some further on. You could stop there and have your lunch. But, uh, looks very nice. Track's just up there. Got quite a few miles. I've got to try and pack out a few miles um, before lunchtime. Today I've just sort of packed my lunch in my little bag at the front there, so if I need to I can just sort of eat on the go rather than taking the backpack off and unpacking everything. I try and keep the food at the top anyway, but this way if I find a seat, it'll be whole, I don't need to take my backpack off. Well, it looks like it's two tractor marks, tracks here. Um, according to me, I always met, this is the track. I can't find the sign, which is unusual. Because this is a very well signposted uh, way, walk, but off I go. I'm going to get very wet legs. I'm not sure whether I'll put them in here, wheat field maybe. It's uh, very soft. This here, it's fine stuff here. Very soft. It's rather nice walking through it. <laughs> Better than walking through the leaf as well. But of course it's a bit higher, so well, my legs are getting wet. <laughs> ah, little dry. These magical quick dry trousers. Right. Oh, any higher and it'd be a bit of a challenge getting through here. I'm gonna see where I'm going. Which I can't now, I think I'm going to that corner. This part of the track is totally overgrown. I don't want to shitty. That's all stuck to pieces by nettles. Oh, my legs and hands. Bottoms of my legs because I've only got three quarter leg trousers on. Hopefully this will clear out and get up to a bit further. Really slowing down my progress. As 
having a nice punch up two miles an hour. Um, which I haven't done this is the first hour. I'm doing about one and a quarter, I think. Has been slowly uphill. But uh, Clearing up soon. Bit uphill there. Yeah, be in the shade. Oh, that bit of uphill. <laughs> it's quite steep. Right, it's come out of a whole lot of uh, fields. Of planting now back in the pasture land, and I'm going to be going down and up by the looks of it. So, through the round up there, around the bend, <coughs> the uh, looks like the signposts have been moved a bit. So, I come marching up the hill and then I come across this fence with barbed wire like this one. So, I keep coming along, then I have to go straight down around the corner there, and then I come to then I look at my map and I'm, I'm not on the track. So I come to this farmer's gate and I thought, right, I'm not going all the way back. You've moved the sign, you've put up barbed wire fences. So I came through that track over there, and then I came with the gap over here, came through here. And then of course he's put all this barbed wire fencing around here like this. So I did it, I climbed over and I didn't rip my trousers. And I'm dead proud of myself. And I think, fuck you, farmer. You move the signs. That's what happens. Anyway. Six miles down. Six miles to go. In the distance, I can see the sea. I am nearly at the coast. I've got about four miles, at, probably at the most, to do. Maybe three, not 100% sure. Three, no, probably four. Two and a half miles. Just coming through the town of Munson. Two and a half miles and I'll be finished. I've done. It's nearly a mile. Uh, I had to recharge my foot, that's how much more than that. Yeah, I've done nine and a half miles. Bailey Beach. Can you see those cars packed up on the hill? That's where I've got to go. Okay, about 11 miles, and now I've got to walk up all these fucking stairs. <laughs> My feet are dead. There's a heli helicopter hovering around in the distance, but... I am at Filey. I've done the world's way. 79 miles. And what a beautiful day it is today. There's a, it's a Coast Guard helicopter. I don't know if they're doing practices or anything because they just seem to be going round and round in circles. So I shall go and find a seat. Wait for the family to get here to pick me up. And then we are going to have some fish and chips and then a long drive home. And I am absolutely, totally knackered. My feet, I did not expect my feet to go. <laughs> but they've been rubbing. And I started rubbing the day I had to wear them when my boots were wet. So obviously they haven't healed up since then. 
so they're really sore and tired. But uh, the backpack actually feels quite light. Well, it's still not, but obviously because all the food's gone and most of the water's gone. And uh, I had a period where I had to stop today and take it off for, and sit down for half an hour because it was getting too much. I was putting a bit of a pace on too because uh, I uh, obviously arranged to meet the family here at a certain time and I just thought I was getting behind schedule or something and I started uh, moving a lot faster I think I'm paying for it now but that's it done and dusted on to planning my next one won't be camping on it because uh, I want to go much more lightweight but uh, it'll be looking at accommodation trying to hunt around for cheaper stuff than 50 pound a night uh, anyway uh, overall I mean I think it was a good good first long distance walk to pick the terrain wasn't too hard I mean the worst part I think was coming here today the farm the track had been overgrown with um, crops and weeds that stung out many times with nettles and um, but the yeah uh, it's accommodation really I think is the issue with all these walks um, camping is an option to make it a lot cheaper but there's not many campsites at the beginning and uh, well rain and my tent don't go well together so you have that as well but, uh, uh, nothing beats a nice bed that's for sure when you've been walking all day right, so I shall sign off and go and see where we find them